I just wanted to show you this really quick um, in case you're like me and trying to make homemade gifts and not have a lot of mo uh, time and money um, instead of making uh, paper journals I'm making fabric cover journals and um, about a month ago I came across this really cute pattern from Indigo Junction and this is the one I'm following right here um, I just did one um, to kind of test out the pattern to make sure it worked and I was pretty happy with it um, so now I'm going to make another one where I can actually embroidery the person's name in the middle and really personalize it and add the ribbons and all of that so anyways this is what it looks like um, let's see if I can pull the camera back so um, I don't know if you if any fabric lovers out there this is Sandy Henderson Sweet Meadow 2 and um, so it was pretty simple the back is the same as the front so I think the, the lighting is a little bit off tonight um, I'm always shaking my camera because I never have a tripod I'm just trying to angle this so you can see it in the best lighting and so anyways it just fits a standard uh, notebook um, so you can see that's the notebook in there so the inside flaps you can make them the same as the outside or change a bop um, but basically this is what it looks like and I would have to say this took me maybe two hours at most to make and um, so if anybody's interested in a tutorial I'd be happy to do that as a follow-up video um, and I'll tell you the supplies real quick um, in case you want to get those if you don't have the pattern and you wait you know you order it and you want to you know uh, while you're waiting for your pattern to come in to prepare your supplies um, in order to make this version you need either two fat quarters or a third of a yard and that's for the the main fabric here and then you need an eighth of a yard or one fat quarter for this band and the inside um, flaps right there and then in terms of the rig rack it calls for one yard of medium sized rig rack and um, then they're calling for one yard of 3 8 inch gross grain ribbon for the ties um, so that you can um, tie it together here I didn't do that with this one and also you can uh, include ribbon here as a bookmark going down the inside in the middle and then um, there's one more item that you need um, hold on so, you don't, so I don't, this doesn't go on and on so they called for um, this Pellon fusible fleece Mine is 987F, but they didn't say um, what number to use. So it was, I know there's a lot of different numbers, and I think it's related to thickness. And so I think I'm going to call up the author or the designer and see if she can clarify that. Um, and I'll tell you why. Um, what happened was um, she called for quarter inch seams and the thickness of the batting is supposed to make the cor oh, so sorry the corners round out uh, because these are round cornered uh, notebooks but do you see how there's a lot of extra area where it doesn't really fit um, like really snug there's a lot of extra room in here like the binder ends there and then you have all this extra room so I'm wondering if the thickness of the batting that I used was different than the one she used in her model or if it's supposed to have this extra on the edge to make it easier to get the notebook in and out. Um, or, so I'm thinking I could either compensate for this by doing half inch seams instead of quarter inch seams or getting a thicker Pellon fusible fleece. So anyways, if you happen to already have some fusible fleece on hand the pattern calls for um, one third yard of 44 inch wide fusible fleece and that was enough for, to make two covers so I bought this bag at Joann's and it was like a dollar well, three dollars and forty nine cents and I think I have enough in here to make three so anyways um, just a, a, like a holiday gift idea if you got for the fabric lovers out there who have sewing machines those who love paper crafting this is kind of a neat hybrid project well not really hybrid but you get the ready-made you know paper journal on the inside and then um, you can make your fabric cover so um, 
I hope you like this video. If you have any questions, I'd love to be able to um, help you out if you want to give this a try. And thanks for watching. Bye-bye.